UFC featherweight king Conor McGregor made the boldest move of his career, fighting 25 pounds above his championship weight against the tough and tenacious Nate Diaz. The Irish superstar was bested that night, but now he wants a rematch of one of the wildest fights in UFC history. Don't miss UFC 202, Diaz versus McGregor 2, live August 20th at T-Mobile Arena. Tickets on sale Friday, July 15th at Ticketmaster.com. This is what UFC looks like. This is what swagger, family, power, and belief look like. Get it? So get it. Shop UFCstore.com for the all-new UFC Fight Kits by Reebok. UFCstore.com. This is what UFC looks like. Friday, it's the Ultimate Fighter finale. Look what I bring. All of the trash talk and bad blood has led to this. You want me to spit on your face or want to? Yoana Dry Trade. Claudia Gadea for the UFC Strawweight Championship. The Ultimate Fighter finale, live Friday at 8 on FS1. fans get set for a night of action inside the octagon unlike any other as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins for the monumental ufc 200 tate versus nunez tomorrow night 10 in the east seven in the west only on pay-per-view from right here inside the sold out t-mobile arena in las vegas two titles will be on the line in the main event Misha Tate looks for her first defense of the bantamweight belt she took from Holly Holm when she faces Brazilian Amanda Nunes, who has earned four of her five UFC wins by first round stoppage. Plus, it's the return of the ultimate alpha male, former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar, who defended his title at UFC 100 and looks to return triumphantly here at UFC 200 when he fights the Super Samoan, knockout specialist, and former K-1 champion, Mark Hunt. Also on pay-per-view, it's a marquee matchup as UFC light heavyweight champion and two-time US Olympic wrestler, Daniel Cormier faces the greatest fighter of all time, Anderson, the Spider Silva. And the interim title will be on the line when the most dominant featherweight in UFC history, former champion Jose Aldo, fights former UFC lightweight champion Frankie Edgar, who looks to become just the third man in UFC history to hold a belt in two different weight classes. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsors. Bud Light, raise one to right now. Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE T mobile network for just $30, period. Harley Davidson, see your dealer today and learn to ride like some of your favorite UFC fighters with Harley Davidson Riding Academy. Live your legend. And EA Sports UFC 2. Get up to 50% off of EA Sports UFC 2 for a limited time at select retailers in-store and online. And now to get the official weigh-ins for UFC 200 underway, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins for UFC 200. The most epic card ever, Ariane, Brittany, Dana White, without him, none of this would be possible. Joe Silva, best matchmaker on the planet Earth. Sean Shelby, his protege. Lorenzo Fratina. Let's get it started, ladies and gentlemen. We kick things off in the lightweight division. Jim Miller versus Takanori K. 
Comey! The official weight for Takanori Gomi is 156. And his opponent, Jim Miller. Official weight for Mr. Miller, 155 and a half. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Takanori Gomi and Jim Miller. The next fight takes place in the middleweight division. Dagar Musasi versus Tiago. Up on the scale, Tiago Santos. 186 is his official weight. And his opponent, Kago Musasi.
Official way 242 for Kane 
closer look at the two men involved in the interim featherweight title bout. Jose Aldo, unbeaten for over a decade. Caminhando bem, até que veio aquele do chamado. Eu acho que essas coisas às vezes é bom você dar um passo atrás para dar três na frente. Eu nasci para ser o campeão. E vou ser o campeão de novo. For Jose Aldo, the good news is he has an opportunity to group now against Frankie Edgar for the interim title. If he can beat Frankie, it sets him up to fight for the undisputed title against Conor McGregor when Conor returns to the featherweight division. The bad news is Frankie Edgar has gotten substantially better. Better since the time he beat BJ Penn to win the title. Better since the first time that he challenged Jose Aldo for the featherweight title. If you look at Frankie Edgar's unbelievable performance against Cub Swanson, That's it. If you look at the way he skillfully outpointed Uriah Faber, if you look at the way he knocked out Chad Mendez in one round, Frankie Edgar is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet Earth today. I think when I, me and Aldo fought three years ago, that was the best Aldo. I think now when we fight, he's going to see the best Frankie. I levo a difference very big in him, or in the velocity, in the explosion, wherever he wants to fight, I'm very in front of him still. I'm feeling like I was in the old days. When you taste gold, you, you want it back immediately when you lose it. Ever since I lost it back in 2012, I've been thinking nothing of, but of being a champion again. I know that I'm going to win the fight, and that's how I'm going to pay that moment that I was in the last time I was in there. I train like a champion, I act like a champion, and I'm just missing that belt now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fourth UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar! Official lane 144! Ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm here with Frankie Edgar. Frankie, this has been a long time coming. You have been campaigning for a shot at the featherweight title. You now have a shot, a rematch with Aldo. Give us your thoughts about the interim title bout tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm excited. UFC 200, can't pick a better card. It's been written already. It's coming home with me. Good luck to you, sir. Frankie Edgar, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the former champion, Jose Aldo. Jose, you have said that you believe it's possible that the Conor McGregor loss was a good thing, to step one step back, to move two steps forward. Give us your thoughts about this rematch with Frankie Edgar and what it means for your future. Você disse que você acha que é capaz que a luta com Conor McGregor foi bom dar um passo para trás e dois para frente. O que você acha dessa luta com Frankie Edgar? Acho normal para mim. Não tem problema, eu vou chegar lá dentro, eu vou vencer ele, onde que a luta cair. Eu vou sempre estar dominando. I think it's normal for me. I'm gonna go in there and beat him. I'm gonna dominate wherever the fight goes. Good luck to you, sir. Jose Aldo, ladies and gentlemen, and Frankie Edgar. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Cormier versus Anderson Silva.
Special Weight 206 for the champ. Anderson Silva and Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm here with Anderson Silva. Anderson, it's incredibly short notice for you to take this fight. You look very excited and very happy. Give us your thoughts about the decision-making process and what it means to fight Daniel Cormier. Você aceitou essa luta de última hora, mas parece muito feliz, muito animado. O que você pensou para aceitar essa luta? O que você acha da luta com Daniel Cormier? Ah, eu acredito que que é uma é uma é uma espécie de desafio pessoal. Né? Eu já passei por vários momentos aqui dentro do UFC e esse é um momento em que eu estou vivendo na minha vida que eu preciso aproveitá-los da melhor forma possível e não desrespeitando o campeão, não achando que é, aceitando a, a luta de última hora eu possa vencê-lo ou perder para ele. Mas eu vim aqui para um desafio pessoal. I think this is a personal challenge for me. I've been through a lot of my UFC career and this is a new time for me. I need to enjoy this, not to underestimate it, not to disrespect the champion, but I'm in here win or lose and I want to come in here and challenge myself. Thank you, sir, and thank you, sir, for taking that fight. Anderson Silva, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the champ, Daniel Cormier. Daniel, I mean, what do you have to say about the madness of the last few days and this change of opponents, and how do you feel about all this? Uh, it has been a roller coaster week, but the UFC came through. I get to fight the greatest fighter of all time. I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm honored, and I'm thankful for Anderson for stepping up, but he's got to get it. I'm, I'm so happy that you took this fight, sir. Thank you very much, and good luck to you tomorrow. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the co-main event of the evening. How long have I been thinking about coming back to the UFC? Ever since the day I stepped out of the octagon when I retired the first time. I was the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Due to my illness, my career got cut short. At the top of my career, I wasn't at the top of my game. In my mind and in my heart, I never lost to a foe. I lost to the diverticulitis. I felt like I was cheated out of my career in the UFC. That chapter of my life, I didn't like the way the chapter ended. And I kept flipping back instead of moving forward. I couldn't live with that decision. I picked up the phone, I called Dana White and said, listen, um, if there was any time for Brock Lesnar to come back, it would just make sense that uh, it would be for the UFC 200. Brock Lesnar is back. <laughs> Size, strength, speed, power. Brock Lesnar is a legitimate freak athlete. This is a guy who stopped Randy Couture for the title in his fourth pro fight. Heavyweight title oh, on the line. Randy got the like Brock Lesnar has a second lease on life as an MMA fighter. And I want to see what this freak athlete is really capable of. And I think Mark Hunt is the absolutely perfect welcome back party for Brock Lesnar. I understand that uh, to become the, the elite of the elites, you've got to take chances on this. So July the night, um, I'm knocking Brock Lesnar's face off. Mark Hunt is one of the greatest strikers to ever compete in the heavyweight division. Mark Hunt is a top 10 heavyweight contender, a guy who has beaten some of the best fighters in the world, and a guy who has absolutely legitimate one-punch knockout power. The, the profile of this fighter, it was huge. This is going to be a fight. And, you know, the better person will stand up victorious. Tune in to, to see Brock, but you'll be saying my name after the fight. <laughs> He's going to try to knock me out, I'm gonna try to take him down. It's fighting, people. I don't have to sit here and build this fight. I'm still the toughest SOB around, baby. Woo! Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the former K-1 Grand Prix champion, Mark! Official weight, 264 and a half for Mr. Hunt. And his opponent, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar. 
65 and a half for the former champion. I'm here with Mark Hunt. Mark, they told you to prepare for UFC 200. When you found out that your opponent was Brock Lesnar, what did you think? I thought he was retired. Oh, no, no, no shit. I actually thought he was retired or something, you know, so. <laughs> what was your thought when you knew that he wasn't retired and you were gonna be fighting him? What was the thought process? Oh, I'm gonna punch his face in. Good luck to you, sir. See you tomorrow night. Mark Hunt, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, Brock Lesnar. What does this feel like? And how pumped are you for tomorrow night? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited it's here. I had a good training camp. I, words can't describe it, Joe. It's, it's surreal. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool to see you back, sir. And I can't wait to see you fight tomorrow. Brock Lesnar, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two women involved in the main event of the evening. Misha Tate, 17 career wins. Holly Holm, a perfect 10 and 0. If Misha can get this to the ground, things can get very interesting. Misha Tate in the Holly Holm fight came in with an unbelievable game plan. She got the neck in the second round, took her back, started to put the choke in, and lost it. When she got the choke in the fifth round, she didn't let go. When the chips are down, when all is on the line, Misha Tate delivered. Misha looking to lock it in. I thought it had to be like a pit bull on a bone. She wasn't getting out of that one. Wow, Misha Tate. She put her to sleep. Misha Tate has dominated. She's the number one female badass out there. Misha will go in and she will fight to the finish. She is the most dangerous woman in the world other than Ronda Rousey. Misha Tate is the undisputed women's bantamweight champion of the world. And now she will have the opportunity to defend her title against one of the most dangerous female bantamweight fighters on earth. Amanda Nunes has some serious power. Amanda Nunes looks better every time she fights or stand up or groundwork. Nunes is a beast. Nunes has done it! I have all the tools to beat you, Misha. I'm really excited about this fight because Amanda Nunes truly does believe she can beat Misha Tate and become champion. Nobody think it can be Misha, but I'm gonna prove everybody is wrong. Amanda is just another faceless woman that's standing in front of another goal of mine, and I have everything that I need to beat her already. I think Misha Tate is a great champ. She can take a lot of damage and still move on in the fight. Yeah, I can take damage and I can come back for you and still beat you. I think this fight's gonna boil down to pure willpower and determination, and she can be broken, and I think I'm the woman to break her. Ronda have her time, Holly have her time, Misha have her time. I think now is my time and I'm gonna take the belt. In my mind, I still have a lot to accomplish. This fight is gonna prove, again, why I am the champion and why I'm the best in the world. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Amanda!
Amanda, you have been one of the best bantamweights in the world for a long time. You get your shot at the title tomorrow night. Give us your thoughts on this fight. I'm very happy to this moment in my career. And I'm 100% sure I'm going to take this belt tomorrow. Be ready, guys. Good luck to you, ma'am. I'm here with the champion, Misha. It was just a little over a year ago that you were wondering about your future in this sport. Now, here you are, the champion, headlining the biggest pay-per-view in the history of the sport. What does this feel like to you? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go out there tomorrow, you guys, and I'm gonna rip her heart out of her chest. <laughs> I'm gonna stomp on it, and I will be the reigning champion. This is a crazy turn of events. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Good luck to you, ma'am. We'll see you tomorrow night. Misha Tate, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out to the UFC 200 weigh-ins. We'll see you tomorrow. July 7th, the UFC's most competitive division takes center stage at MGM Grand. Lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos puts it all on the line against striking specialist Eddie Alvarez. Plus, heavyweight knockout artists Roy Nelson and Derek Lewis go fist to fist in a clash that has sudden ending written all over it. UFC Fight Night, Dos Anjos versus Alvarez. Part of the UFC International Fight Week in Las Vegas. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. On Friday, July 8th, UFC International Fight Week hosts a Bad Blood Showdown with the finale of The Ultimate Fighter Season 23. In the main event, undefeated UFC strawweight champion Joanna Young Jacek defends her title in a heated rematch against rival coach Claudia Gadelia. Plus, two new Ultimate Fighters will be crowned. It's the Ultimate Fighter finale live at MGM Grand Garden Arena. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. July 7th, the UFC's most competitive division takes center stage at MGM Grand. Lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos puts it all on the line against striking specialist Eddie Alvarez. Plus, heavyweight knockout artists Roy Nelson and Derek Lewis go fist to fist in a clash that has sudden ending written all over it. UFC Fight Night, Dos Anjos versus Alvarez. Part of the UFC International Fight Week in Las Vegas. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. On Friday, July 8th, UFC International Fight Week hosts a Bad Blood Showdown with the finale of The Ultimate Fighter Season 23. In the main event, undefeated UFC strawweight champion Joanna Young Jacek defends her title in a heated rematch against rival coach Claudia Gadelia. Plus, two new Ultimate Fighters will be crowned. It's the Ultimate Fighter finale live at MGM Grand Garden Arena. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com.